Welcome to Rapid Web Prototyping Without Coding. My name is Steve Harris. I'm a designer based in Calgary, Canada, and I work under the freelance studio named Visual Arms. Today I'll be showing you how to take advantage of Adobe's new web design tool codename Muse in order to bring your Photoshop designs onto the web without writing any code. I'll be using Photoshop CS5 and the public beta of Adobe Muse for the tutorial. So as you can see here, I've set up a site layout in Photoshop and it's important to note that I've named my layers with descriptive names. When we place these layers into Muse, we need to know what they contain. So avoid any sort of generic names. So once we're happy with our site layout in Photoshop, I'm going to jump over to Adobe Muse. And as you can see here, I've set up just a blank site and all I've done ahead of time is drawn a box and colored it in with the same brown background as we used in the Photoshop file. You don't need to place things like solid color boxes and text from Photoshop as Muse can generate these elements itself using HTML. So now that we've got our site base set up, let's go up to File and Place. And we're going to select our PSD file and now we have the image import options. In this dialog box we have the option to import a composite image which is basically a flattened version of our PSD file or we can import a specific layer of the file which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to select the texture layer and the reason I'm selecting texture first is because it sits at the bottom of our Photoshop layers. I find it easiest to work from the bottom up to avoid any arrangement in Muse. And now once I've selected my layer I'm going to click clip to layer contents and what this will do is change the size of the frame on the graphic from the Photoshop canvas size to simply the exterior boundaries of the graphic itself. And let's click OK and now we have a loaded cursor and if I click it places that layer into our Muse file. So let's repeat the same process, file, place, select our PSD, and this time I'm going to place our logo. And again, clip to layer contents, and hit OK. And click, and there we have our logo. So as you can see, placing layer graphics from a Photoshop file into Muse is quite easy. And what's important to know about these layers is that they are linked to the original PSD file. So if you'd like to edit the layer, you can simply edit your original PSD, save it, and update the links in Adobe Muse, similar to uh, links in InDesign. So we'll go ahead and place one more just using the shortcut keys. And I'm going to select the menu button this time. I'm going to clip to layer contents and hit OK and place that file in. So now what I'm going to do is just jump over to a completed layout that I set up earlier in the day here and this just includes all of the layers from our Photoshop file. Uh, as I understand it, Adobe will be allowing you to place multiple layers at once in future releases of Adobe Muse, but for now uh, we need to do one layer at a time. So in this file I have drawn a text box and I've just filled it in with some really simple text and we want to draw our text or write our text in Adobe Muse so that when it generates the HTML code you have true HTML text that's searchable and that can be copied and pasted. And then also I've set up a hyperlink on this button so if you look at the top in the hyperlink uh, menu I have pointed it to a page called test which obviously doesn't exist but what this will give me is just kind of link functionality on the buttons itself so uh, when we test it we know that it's actually a button that can be clicked. So once you're happy with your Muse site what we're going to do is preview it. Now if we go and click preview it generates a preview of your site in the Adobe Muse program itself and as you can see we have selectable text, we have a button here and if we're happy with this layout as it looks in Muse then we have the option to export to HTML so if we click file and export as HTML we are given the option to export 
everything or simply export what has been changed since your last export. So there's no need to generate the entire site from scratch again, although Muse does generate the HTML very quickly. So I'm just sending it to the desktop. We'll click export and it's complete already. So once it's complete, if we click view site, it will launch your default browser and in this case it's Safari and this is a preview of your site. You've got selectable searchable text, we've got a link here and as you can see it's pretty quick and easy to bring your Photoshop designs onto the web by using Adobe Muse. I'm Steve Harris and thanks for listening.